From the Tour Nation Production Studios, located in the Media Arts Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the Studio of Dreams at Tour Nation Productions. Reporting from the Studio of Dreams, located at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas, welcome to the award-winning Good Morning Ball High. I'm Andy Carcano. And I'm Caleb Partipillo. To get things started, as always, stay tuned to today's Time Rewind, courtesy of our good friend, David Mendel. <laughs> it's Time Rewind for September 18th. The first edition of the New York Times is published on this day in 1851. More than a century later, in 1975, FBI agents in San Francisco capture newspaper heiress and fugitive Patty Hearst and charge her with armed robbery. From real life agents to a fictional one. Wait a minute, 99, what are NBC you doing? NBC introduces for? television right, viewers to secret oh, agent right, Maxwell Smart on this day in 1965 with the debut of Get Smart. Back a year to 1964. Todd Stiles and Buzz Murdoch park their Corvette for the last time as CBS broadcasts the final episode of Route 66. September 18, 1970 is a dark day for rock and roll as Seattle native Jimi Hendrix dies of an apparent drug overdose in London at the age of 28. Born on this day, singer-actor Frankie Avalon, actress Jada Pinkett Smith, and international cycling champion Lance Armstrong. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mendel. Don't forget that the tardy policy is now being enforced. All students must be through the threshold of the classroom doorway before the start of the tardy bell. Violators must go to the tardy station to receive a pass back to class. Also, don't forget that the dress code is now being strictly enforced. Violators must immediately conform to the dress code, policy, or be faced with disciplinary action. And proper school IDs must be worn throughout the school day. Students will not be allowed in classrooms unless a school-issued ID is being clearly worn. Violators must be sent to the office in order to receive a temporary ID. Now, let's check this morning's headlines from newspapers across America. Here is today's official Good Morning Ball High picture of the day. If you have an interesting photo that you would like to be considered as a future picture of the day, send it to Mr. Dudas. We will be happy to feature it. And for even more photos, check out the Ball High Photography photo album. Go to Google and search Ball High Photography. Set furnishing for Good Morning Ball High provided by Star Fine Furniture. Don't forget that Time Rewind can also be found on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Check it out for more pop culture and trivia. Stay tuned after this newscast for today's SEL moment. I'm Caleb. And I'm Aiden. Wishing, wishing you a terrific day. day. Morning Ball High is produced by the students in the Media Arts Small Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. <laughs>